Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel and today we're going to be talking about disposable items you should be stocking up on. And most of these items are going to be things that you just come across in normal everyday life that maybe you shouldn't throw away. Of course, you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to be a hoarder or anything like that. So if you wind up on an episode of that show, totally not my fault. But these are things that, if maybe you just keep a small stash of, they could be useful in an emergency situation. And this video is part of the 30 Days of Preparedness collaboration, so after it's over, be sure to check out the other channels participating in this series using the links in the description below. And the first thing that you shouldn't throw away is newspaper. It can be used as a very good fire starter. I like to use it to help start my charcoal when I'm grilling, but you can also use it to do other things like help start rocket stoves and things like that. Of course, newspaper, it can also be used as a decent insulating material. If, say, you're in a situation, it's really cold and all you have was a light jacket, then just zip it up, take some newspaper, kind of crinkle it up, and then stuff it into your sleeves in the main part of your jacket. And you don't want it to be crinkled too tight because you do still want that airspace. And you can use the same concept if you need some sort of bedding material. If you can find a bunch of newspaper and maybe a garbage bag or some shopping plastic bags, then just go ahead and crinkle it up put it in those bags, tie it off, and you can use that to help give you at least a little bit of space in between you and just the cold ground. Then also another thing that newspaper can be used for is to help reduce drafts. Like you can put some in at the bottom of your door or in the side of your door to reduce the amount of air that gets in. And then even if you have a gap between say your window and then like the frame of the house, maybe something happened there, you could just shove some newspaper in that, at least until it gets wet. Another thing you can use newspapers for is to help clean glass. And this isn't a survival thing, but it actually does do a pretty good job leaving behind a, a streak-free shine and also not any lint. Another thing that you shouldn't throw away are twisty ties. These can be used to organize cables the same way that they are in packaging, but you can also use them to secure other things like plants. Say you have some sort of vining plant that you need to keep off the ground, you can use twisty ties to secure them to something like a trellis. Just be sure that you secure it loosely so that you don't constrict that plant. You can use twisty ties to help organize small objects like keys or anything else that you want to keep together or prevent from just going all over the place in a bag or a pouch. And then another thing you can use twisty ties for is if you have glasses and you lose a screw form, specifically one that holds on um, one of the earpieces, then you can just use that twisty tie to reconnect that piece to the rest of your glasses. Condiment packets are another thing that you shouldn't throw away. So things like mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, sugar, and honey. Those things can, at a minimum, last for probably about a year. And then other things like salt, sugar, and honey can last much longer. But these are good to have in, say, your bug out bag, or maybe even stored up in your cabinet so that if you're in a situation where you need to use emergency food storage, then you can utilize those to help make them taste a little bit better. Another thing that you should be saving is dryer lint because it can be used as an emergency fire starter. And when selecting dryer lint for this, it's best if it's non-synthetic fibers. So say you do a load of towels, since those are mostly cotton, after you're done, go ahead and get the dryer lint out, set it aside. And of course, you can add things like Vaseline, olive oil, or even something like nonstick cooking spray to it to help it burn a little bit longer to help you get that fire established. Another thing you should be stockpiling are coffee cans or laundry detergent cans. And these have a lot of different uses. I know one thing I've used them for in the past is after I go shooting, I will be the range chicken and collect a bunch of brass. And at one time, I mean, I had like multiple coffee cans full of the stuff. And you can also use them to store other small items like tea light candles. And it really is best to wash them out when you're done with them. I mean, I know you can't really get rid of the smell of coffee, but you can use them to create mini kits. Like if you want to put all of, say, maybe your uh, charging cables in one, then you can do that. Or maybe you want to use one to store batteries or some other type of thing. They work really well for that sort of application. You can also use them as a shovel, particularly if you have um, nice soft soil or maybe you're gardening and you're wanting to dispense garden soil. You can also use them to help carry or collect water. 
I mean, you could even like set them outside during a rainstorm and then use them to collect water for maybe your plants or something like that later on. If you have metal cans, they can be used as stoves or even pots for melting wax. Packing peanuts are another good thing to keep around, of course. They can be used as packaging if you need to load things up to bug out to prevent them from being damaged. But also, if you like to container garden, then you can use those packing peanuts to keep at the bottom of planter pots. First of all, it helps with drainage, but also if you have a larger container and you're not really wanting to fill that entire thing up with soil, you're wanting to save a little bit of money, then you can put packing peanuts like maybe at the bottom third of it so that you're not having to fill the entire thing with something like mulch or potting mix. Old candles and crayons are another good thing to hold on to because those, of course, can be remelted. You can use them to create new candles, or if you have a metal tuna can and some cardboard, you can use them to create a tuna can stove as well. Another thing you should be stockpiling that a lot of people just throw away is old clothes. And these can be used in a variety of different ways. You can cut them down and use them as cleaning rags for just around the house. You can cut them down smaller, use them as cleaning patches. And then also, say you have an old ratty pair of jeans that you feel bad about donating, but they don't fit anymore. Instead of throwing those away, set them aside so that you can use them to mend other clothing. Like you can create patches out of them to sew into clothing that you can still wear. Because that's going to be a big concern, especially during a long-term situation, is clothes wearing out, getting holes in them. And it's a good idea to have some fabric that you can use to repair, especially your most used articles of clothing. Then also, things like toilet paper and other personal sanitary supplies, they're not going to last forever. If the situation lasts long enough, it's very possible that you're going to run out of those. So having some things like old t-shirts to be used for personal sanitary needs is also a good idea. Jars and small containers are another good thing to hold on to. I know people have been using them for years to hold things like nails and screws. I have a lot of old glass jars that I got from my granddad's basement that have those sort of things in them. You can also use them to organize small parts. Like I also have some pocket screw boxes that I'll use to hold little sharp metal scraps and trash rather than throwing those in the garbage because, you know, they might fall out or there might be a hole in the bag, whatever, and I don't want to run those over. So I put them in one of those little uh, snap top plastic containers so that I don't have to worry about those getting somewhere where I don't want them. And then also pill bottles are another good thing to have. Just take the label off. You can put things like fire starters in there. And I think nowadays with plastic becoming more common, they are a better option than like your old glass pickle jars just because you can knock them off of your... Um, workbench or something like that on accident they're not going to shatter everywhere but of course you know the glass ones still have their place just be careful with them another good thing to stockpile at least a few of is old bottles specifically like two liter coke bottles because you can clean those out and you can use them to store water or even some dry goods and then also the small water bottles instead of just throwing all of those away maybe keep a couple on hand because you can poke a hole in the top of the lid and you can use them as a squirt bottle for things like toothbrushes or for watering seedlings so that you can help preserve the water that you do have. Then as far as disposable stockpile items, you should purchase new things like wet wipes, particularly the ones that come in the small packages. Those are good for sticking in like an EDC bag, bug out bag under the seat of your car. So if you need to clean your hands off, but you don't have running water, those will do a pretty good job getting like grime off of there and also killing germs at the same time. But if you want to have something that you can bathe with, baby wipes are probably a better option because you can get a larger quantity of them for a little bit cheaper than you can those wet wipes. And then sanitizing wipes are good since they can clean surfaces without having to dip into your water storage. Batteries are another disposable item you should stockpile. And while a lot of thought goes towards things like flashlights and radios, don't forget to stock up on some 9-volt batteries as well for things like your smoke alarm or maybe your carbon monoxide detector. And I will say that if you have some sort of solar setup, even a small one, especially for your AA's, AAA's, and D-cells, you want to probably move more towards rechargeable batteries in those areas because those solar setups, they do an exceptional job of keeping those small batteries charged long term so that you don't have to store and spend as much money on batteries you're just going to throw away. 
Cotton balls are another good thing to stock up on since you can use them to apply antiseptics or medicated ointments to like small cuts or abrasions. But there's always the tried and true cotton ball Vaseline fire starting method that does work extremely well. It's easy and cheap to make and it lights easy and it burns for quite a while. And then duct tape is another disposable item that everybody should have plenty of. Of course, it can be used to repair gear, clothing, or equipment, but it can also be used for other survival-related uses, things like making bandages, particularly butterfly bandages, and then also as an emergency fire starter since duct tape is flammable. And there's a lot more disposable items that you should be stockpiling, and if you want to see those, check out my video, 50 Household Items You Should Be Stockpiling, and then also just my general stockpile playlist. Thank y'all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.